compared with working with another coding tool in the department. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Other thing, uh, uh, when we uh, used to be the case, not anymore because it's very much conference funding is getting difficult and difficult and difficult. We used earlier we uh, used to see the people going to the conference and that's the thing, that's proceedings and that's the end of the story. It's not going to be happening anymore. No university will fund uh, conference uh, part in a presentation unless you can show that you have submitted the paper to a recognized journal that the department might decide. Otherwise, you know, uh, and in unfortunately in some of the business discipline, uh, there has been the tendency. It's not not been in, in science area, but in social science area, a lot of people used to go to the conference and publish in proceedings. You know that. Proceedings publication, no more uh, given any importance unless it is published. So the other one is that uh, submit your paper to the journal without receiving it and receiving comments. So that's why conference is so important. I think uh, most of you are familiar with Professor Gerald Zimmerman, you know, positive accounting theory. Some of you, economics and finance, uh, you know, his uh, work on positive accounting theory, and he was basically say that the, 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 one of the uh, main reasons for um, you know, uh, the rejection in the department. You know, that means you work on your own yourself and submit to a journal without saying anybody because you are scared of it, you know, or you don't like it, you don't from your comments. Right? So that's the thing. Uh, so once uh, the time now is actually referring for manuscripts, um, sometimes we receive uh, the request for manuscripts uh, review, and because it's time consuming, many of us just say, no, I'm not interested, right? Look at what type of um, work um, is, you know, in, in, in the manuscript, because when you get the invitation, you get the abstract, okay? So look at the abstract, and if you think that it would be interesting, because you want to know yourself as well. This is not just you, you know, you are referring, but you also like to know what other people are doing in your area. So by after finishing PhD, working for a few years, um, try to, you know, accept that sort of request, reasonable request, of course, not, uh, you know, in one year you will be looking at 20, 25 articles, no, maybe four or five, depending on the time, you, can, you know, it's very important because, because it's time consuming. You know, sometimes I find that uh, I get so much request, but I can't really do all these things, you know. So you have to be, um, and consider acting on the editorial board of the journal of your choice should be around for a while, at least reasonable, okay? This will build your profile, but consider time commitment. Because once you do this, you will uh, be recognized uh, in your area, okay? That's why working and extending your PhD work is a good um, strategic decision because you can build up your expertise and people will really see you, you are an expert um, nationally, internationally, okay? Right. Because one of the promotion criteria we, you know, university uses is that what is the recognition, you know, how you are valued within the academic community, within your country, within your discipline. Okay. This is very important. So that's the thing that you should build your profile but consider time for it. Um, I know some smart people um, are not recognized because they have committed too much on some of the work, like conference organization, conference presentation, you know, networking. But everything should lead you that may.
same thing, which is the publication. So that's why you get that, you know, uh, the recognition. Uh, this is really important also to update your profile. Um, uh, I got a couple of reminders from the dean that Kamran, you haven't done your, you know, updating your profile, you do it, and everybody uh, gets on it. Uh, nowadays, it is now systematic. As soon as something is published, it is automatically built into, you know, the system. So you don't have to do anything. It is done by the university. Earlier, it was not that easy. Okay, so, and the other thing is that in order to make name and fame, um, you have to have some sort of instinct. In other words, you should promote yourself a little bit. I'm assuming is not necessarily good for career progression. You have to tell your own story, right? Uh, Modest is good, unassuming, all that good, but you know, people say that, you know, beat your own ground. Okay, not excessively, because it will be really, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, disturbing, but you should be reasonably uh, aggressive in promoting your own work, right? So it could be putting in the research grade and um, all other. Revenues nowadays are very good, so so that others who don't have to, you know, we don't know so many professors around unless we get for email. This is the paper, this and that. So the that's why, which is good thing I think. Um, our, I see nowadays a um, lot of work from Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines are are posted on SSRN. Have you heard of SSRN? SSR, Social Science Research Network, coming out of US, you know, uh, online or abstract, the paper. Okay, so you, uh, there are two things because it helps you promote your work and also establish the work that it is yours okay. so that nobody, you can put the abstract if you like or you can put the whole paper. Usually whole paper, if, you, if it is, uh, the paper is not, ready and you think that it would require um, say one year other might start working on that and just overtake you okay so abstract is one that we have found this and that so that people know that it's your work you are you have done what and that's why when SSR and you see the full paper um, some, there are some exceptions. Most of the papers are about to be accepted <coughs> or forthcoming, right? Not just um, half book paper because it will take a long time. So other people might follow that sort of idea and just overtake you. you know? So uh, you have to be strategic in that uh, aspect. I'll finish soon. Um, and other consideration, um, I um, we've been running a workshop in our university, Electro University, and other universities in Australia. And um, so I was asked to do something, and then a few other professors uh, joined with us. Uh, uh, so a team, a team a both team, Timothy Marjorie Bank, uh, Timothy Bertram, and Darren Henry. So we've been running a workshop Time, particularly for the new academics within our uh, school, right? So basically, um, as you say, you know, first time you say that, do, do not research alone, uh, you need to work with the team. There's one strategy that if you want to do your own and you rely on that particular paper, <laughs> it takes a lot of time uh, because you can't be really expert in all areas. Right? You have to do everything and it will take a long time and you may not be successful. So you need to really uh, work with the team, you know? So team necessarily means that, um, you know, the same uh, specialization, you could be uh, working with the econometrician because you don't know 
much about um, what's going on. In accounting and finance, basically, it's getting more quantitative and not necessarily